I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on graph. The question here is, draw the graph of y equals to 6 minus 2x using the scale 2 cm to 1 unit on the x-axis and 1 cm to 1 unit on the y-axis for the values of x from minus 2 to 4. So we are given the equation which is y equals to 6 minus 2x and we are also given the values of x for which we need to plot the points on the Cartesian plane and then join them to draw the graph. So let's make a table of values here for the given equation. So we'll take up the x values as mentioned here. The values of x are from minus 2 to 4. Right. So we'll just calculate different values from minus 2 to 4. So that is to say minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So if I place the value minus 2 here, then minus and minus becomes plus. So we get plus 4, and 6 plus 4 gives us a value of 10. At minus 1, the value will be 6 minus minus. 2, that means 6 plus 2, which gives us 8. At 0, we get a value of 6. And then at 1, 6 minus 2 is 4. You also notice we are going down by 2 units, 6 minus 2x. So that minus gives you the rate of change or the slope. So we have to go down by 2 units. So we can just, uh, I mean, keep on going and we will kind of get these values when calculated. Correct? Now we are given a scale that scale of 2 cm to 1 unit on the x axis right so so that will be like 1 1 unit and 1 unit on the 1 cm let us say this is a centimeter grid correct okay. so and we want to actually represent from 10 to minus 2 so most of the values here are positive just one negative value so we'll take a scale and we'll put the horizontal line slightly over here, right? So we might get most of the points with that. So I'll make the x axis right here. The x values we have taken from minus 2 to 4, and we have kept two units for x and then 1, 2, 3, 4. So with that scale, which has been mentioned, I think it would be better for me to draw a y-axis right there. Let's plot the points and then connect them. So we have at 4, the value is minus 2. So on the y-axis, the scale is 2 units is, is 1, right? So that is 2 units is 1. So this is minus 1, that is minus 2. Here we have 1, 2, and 3 only, correct? So we have a smaller graph paper, so we'll just go for what we have at present. Okay, so, so at 3 it is 0. So I'll not be able to plot this point, 4, or we may just extend this, no problems. So if I extend this, so we have 4 right there. So we can now plot the points. At 4, it is minus 2. On the y scale, we are using 1 unit, right? So each is 1 unit. So minus 2 will be somewhere there. At 3, it is 0. At 2, it is 2. So it is 2. At 1, it is 4. At 1, it is 4. At 0, it is 6. So at 0, it is 6. At minus 1, it is 8. And at minus 2, it is 10. So we get these points, which can be connected to sketch the graph of the given function, right? So we may draw arrows at the end to indicate that we could have taken more points. However, when we say that 
from the values of x from minus 2 to 4, in that case, we should actually make it as end point, right? So we should not draw arrows in that case, since we are given a restricted domain, which is from minus 2 to 4. Perfect. So within that domain, these are the points, and when you connect them, you get a straight line as shown here. So that is how we could actually draw the graph. Now you could have related questions from here, questions like question 1, find intercepts. So we can say find x-intercepts and find y-intercepts. Right. We can also have a question which is from the graph, if x equals to 3.5, find y. So you could interpolate and get the value of y. So you can actually solve these two questions using the graph as an added exercise. I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.